They trip with the girls. One of my goals this year is to travel to different areas here in Japan. Not only for me, but also to show you the places that you can visit aside from Tokyo. So this weekend, I am so excited for this. We are going on a trip to Southern Kyoto. As you guys know, I am obsessed with coffee, but aside from coffee, I'm a huge green tea slash matcha drinker. It has so many health benefits and it's actually one of the reasons why Japanese people live longer because we drink green tea like water here. I booked us a stay at this really cool Airbnb in Wazuka. It's actually like a countryside area in Kyoto. We will explore this hidden gem in Kyoto. I am so excited to take you along and I hope you have fun with me. The girls are coming with me so we're gonna have a fun girls adventure. <laughs> Good morning! We made it to Kyoto and it's now 11 a.m. Check-in is at 3 so we have a few hours to go around. We made it to Fushimi Inari. So this is where you can find the red tori gates. Something smells really good. If you know us, you know if something smells good, we are gonna be there. We're buying it. <laughs> We're buying it. <laughs> wow, well, you say? Wow. Good. <laughs> Looks so yummy and it smells so good. Kind of salty, but oh, so juicy. And my sister is treating us to uh, the food stalls. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your paycheck recently? Oh my. Oh. You did not. <laughs> Quiet, mother. <gasps> Sister has a lot of money, and I've been treating you all this time. We got menchi katsu, which is basically a minced beef cutlet. Beer. Beer. Why'd you get beer? Not mine, though. Who owns it? My mama. <laughs> Maybe Castella for my sister. It's, it's my her favorite. favorite. Like whenever we go to um, shrines like this, I always look for it. She always buys it. <laughs> What's the flavor? It's Dirty. The best. Menchikatsu taste test. Mm. Why does it taste like shawmai? Mm. Or like lumpia? We're gearing up to climb the Tori Gates. I think it's quite a long walk going up. <laughs> My mom got konomiyaki. Mmm, yummy. Oishiso. Ichigo matcha daifuku. The ice cream is actually really delicious. I like it better than the daifuku. Not gonna lie. So good. 
Oh my god, it looks so cool! <laughs> Just like a hike. This is the resting area and we got corn potage. It's basically corn soup in a can. This is really good. They trip with the girls in Kyoto. It's 2 p.m. I think our next meal will be around 7. We're gonna buy a snack first here at McDo. I'm gonna get nuggets. From Ishiyama Station, we have to take a cab to the Matcha. It's around 30 minutes going there and I'm so excited because I am I am really tired. I've had like three hours of sleep last night. I drank coffee really late yesterday so it's my mistake. I couldn't sleep. I'm so excited to see the place because I saw a bunch of photos online. So serene and so peaceful. I just can't wait to relax. Tomorrow we're having a tour of the tea plantation. I need to turn my microphone because you can see it here on top. This is where we're going. This is also where we're staying tonight. It's an Airbnb in Wazuka and it's a traditional Japanese home that they renovated a few months ago. We made it to the matcha. We have to pick up the keys here to the tea moon, which is the Airbnb. It's so nice here. Look at the green tea fields. The view, it's amazing. And they also have a lot of um, green tea products. We actually got here quite late because the check-in is at 3, but we got here at 4 because we had to pass by some snacks. Hojicha, roasted green tea with ginger. Baby. <laughs> it's good for the immune system. <laughs> this Airbnb feels like home. I feel like I'm transported back in Shizuoka because the surroundings here it's filled with green tea plantations and this is exactly how it is in our hometown in Shizuoka. The right side is where the CR is at. I'm gonna show you later how it looks like but for now my mom's taking a number two so we can go in. Here on the side is the living room area. So it has tatami floors. This is actually one of the best features of this house. Imagine drinking your matcha here in the morning. This house actually has two bedrooms. This is the first bedroom. I feel like we're all gonna squish in here because the second bedroom is upstairs. And uh, yeah, I don't think any one of us would want to stay upstairs. I actually asked the owner where he got the lamp, the lampshade, because it's so pretty. I want to get one for my apartment. Be a love style house. So this is the second floor. Okay, I'm gonna show you how the restroom looks like. So here's the sink and the star of the show. Look at the bathtub. That's not all. Look at the view. Imagine taking a bath here in the morning. Oh my god, it's a complete vibe. Here's the toilet. Oh, this is so cool. They have this tea bath soap. Before I forget, they also have this green tea conditioner, treatment shampoo, and body soap. <laughs> Guys, so we ate McDonald's before going here. <laughs> We're still hungry. We can't find a nearby convenience store. So if you go here, make sure to bring food. 
Well, we've been traveling, like going around all day, which explains our hunger. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat my mint. It's only five, and our dinner is at six, so we still have an hour to do whatever. I wanna eat. All I can think about is food. We're having dinner at the restaurant here, and it's really cool because it's farm to table, so most of the things here they got from their farm. Want you beef? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I really love white wine better than red because I feel like the taste isn't as like bitter. Come back. Come back. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's very fruity. It's like juice. We were more than ready to eat at this point, and oh my god, I was so happy because the matcha did not disappoint. They served us one of the best dinners I've had in a while. Everything we ate this night was absolutely delicious. You can really tell the dishes were cooked with fresh, high quality ingredients the moment you take a bite. We see this we got yakitori. This one's made with local chicken, so I bet it's really tender and soft. Mm -hmm. Traditional. So apparently, this is even better than Kobe beef. It actually feels like it's about to melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's so tender. Ryota would love this. It's one of the major types of Wagyu here in Japan. I wish I said yes to the rice. I think this would be so good with rice. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> yes, so it's a bean, very bean. We're having deer tonight. It's gonna be our first time trying deer. So we get one each. Let's try it all together. Are you guys ready? Like it's not that taste, mm. but it's really soft. Yeah, it's mm. really soft. Rate your dinner out of five. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> My sister's gonna get cooked here on the pot. One Yoshiko special coming right up. <laughs> We're gonna use this tea bath soap. Good morning, guys. It's 8 a.m. We're going down to have breakfast and then at 9.30 we're going on the tea plantation tour. Bye, Omong! Let's go in for brekkie. What is that? I forgot. It's a Homemade granola. It's my first time having shiro miso, so it's basically white miso soup. They use white miso paste and it's so delicious. This is how they make their miso soup here in the Kansai region, in Kyoto and in Osaka. It's a bit sweet and really tasty. The broth is a bit thick mm, because of the mochi maybe. Yeah, it also has mochi. Expensive one has more caffeine. Mm -hmm. Now, one bowl of matcha of caffeine is same as one cup of coffee. 99% we are producing green tea. Mm -hmm. Green cheese. Ceremonial grade matcha. Mm. And then this one. Training matcha. Training matcha. Training matcha. Most important thing is removing the, yeah, the air. Oh. Okay. Yeah. okay. So removing that's the air. what really helps for the freshness. This shrine itself is really nice, so let's visit here. Okay. This shrine was built uh, 800 years ago. 
Morning exercise. My heart beat. He's a sitter, and which is more than uh, 500 years old. Oh. Oh. If you come here at night, sometimes you can see a flying squirrel. You can see a what? Flying squirrel. This is Goko. Originally from Kyoto, and next one is Yabukita. Yep. Actually, Yabukita is around 70% of Japanese green tea is Yabukita. Yeah. In Shizuoka, over 90% is Yabukita. I'm picking baby leaves. He's gonna make them put out of it as a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Seven also. Okay. We just finished doing the tour, and now we're gonna do the tea tasting. You can really differentiate it because mm -hmm. I thought tea had, you know, one flavor, like green tea had one flavor. How many cultivars of green tea? Over a hundred. Mm -hmm. It's the tea leaves we picked a while ago. <laughs> and now we're gonna eat it. Thank you. Mm. Healthy chips. <laughs> I'm going to Hokkaido for my friend's birthday, so I'm gonna get her a matcha bubble. This pink one. And then I also wanna get her a matcha powder. I can't believe this trip is almost finished. I had so much fun. The girls and I had so much fun. I totally recommend visiting this place, doing the tea tour, and trying their food. Oh my god, you're not gonna regret it. Everything was so delicious. We're about to check out. We had so much fun. We had such a relaxing, energizing trip here in Dimacha, aka T Moon, which is their Airbnb. Bye! Bye. <laughs>